Hey guys, welcome to DevOps School. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about Python. Python is a general purpose, interpreted, interactive, object oriented and high level programming and scripting language. After going through this tutorial, I promise you that the concept and understanding of the Python will be absolutely clear to you. This series is divided into multiple parts. Therefore, subscribe to the channel and follow the playlist. But before we begin, let me inform you a few things about us. DevOps School is one of the leading platform which offers DevOps, Cloud and Containers technology training and certification programs for freshers and established professionals who wish to update and consolidate their skills in the dynamic IT scenario. We ensure that the training solutions are delivered by highly experienced domain experts with practical working experience in various verticals. You can join our all training programs which includes DevOps Certified Professional, Master in DevOps Engineering, Site Reliability Engineering, Azure DevOps, AWS Certified DevOps Professional, Docker Certified Associate, Certified Kubernetes Administrator, HashiCorp tools like Terraform, Vault, Nomad and various courses globally through online platforms. And if you are looking for classroom workshop, then we have regular batches available in Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Delhi NCR and in Pune. Check out the dates and enroll with us for our upcoming batches. For more info, link and contact details are mentioned in the description below. Okay. Variable declaration. Write down the Python uh, program name. Variable declaration. Or oh, variable. That's all. No variable. Okay. Okay. So please, what may be A equals to 10, B equals to 20, C equals to 30. Please write down. A equals to 10. A equals to 10. Yeah, that is a difference because I'm using another keyboard. You can use the virtual keyboard also, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, the issue is that I am on my laptop. Yeah, it's a German. That's equals to. Yeah, yeah, that is the difference. Yes, go to use virtual keyboard. Yes. Everything is on cloud now, okay? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. Okay, 40 and not an issue. Okay, now you know how to print, right? Right. Write down, print A. That's all. Print A. Like this? Yeah, simple, that's all. Press it. Yes, Underscore Y. Space, no, no, no. Remove, no need to give any brackets. So only simply we are printing the variable. That's all. Like this one? Yes, yes. Okay. Print B and print C. Yes. Can you please run this? Ob observe the issue. Why it is not printing? Parenthesis I need. Syntax error. Missing parenthesis in call a print. Did you mean print A? Try to absorb the, you know, uh, error. Then only you are able to remember. Right. Yes, okay. I think two times. No, no, do not put A plus B plus C. Don't write. Uh, we are not uh, so don't performing worry, uh, any mathematics. Right? Don't worry. Keep it up. Okay? Just make it some speed. So don't worry about the variables and uh, some. Just give me the example. I will do it. Okay? Okay, okay. What I'm trying to do, just in this particular examination, I have a particular you know, program. 
I'm just telling you how to print the variable value, right? Okay, so it's done, right? Print a print right. B, print C, right? Right, correct. Now, this is the uh, wait, wait. In this program, we are assigning single value, okay, in a single value for each variable, right? Right, okay. Now how we are going to use the multiple value to multiple variables mm -hmm. okay please mm -hmm. create another program don't worry we will do mathematical operation in a separate program let me finish the topic completely multiple uh, multiple variables write down this multiple variables okay now write down a just i'm giving you a equals to b equals to c equals to suppose uh, 50, uh 20. right like that a equals to b equals to c equals to 20. okay okay now Print X, print, uh, print uh, A, B, C, right down. Same. Print A, same way in inside the bracket. Just copy paste in another, from other program. I think you are well first. Oh, uh, only these three. And please run this. And also try to observe each and every error. This will work. So it means what? In a single uh, multiple variable, we are assigning a single value. Right. Okay. So this okay. concept is also clear how we are going to assign? Yeah, yeah. that is no, no worries. Okay. Now create one more program. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to assign multiple values to, to the multiple variable. See, I'm going very steep wise. That's the reason I, in our first, you know, discussion itself, I told, uh, I have asked you whether are you clear with the basic? You don't know, you have to start with basic. That's the reason each and every thing I'm just uh, so actually, discussing. Actually, I was, uh, as already mentioned that, uh, maybe just uh, to explain that for basic understanding, there is no problem. L uh, like uh, these language, how we can define variables, but I'm not saying about the Python. I'm saying about the C, Java. There is no problem. How to define? How to run the uh, yeah, yeah. loops? And there is no problem. Condition, no problem. But C, in Python, so that's why. Uh, if uh, I think so, we need some pace. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, that's the reason I'm here, right? Yes. <laughs> So just now, I, uh, right now we are discussing about assigning multiple values to multiple variables. Correct? Right. So please declare again A, B, C. A, comma, B, comma, C equals to 10, 20, 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, write down print A, print B, print C. Please run this. Mm -hmm. Right. So, are you clear with this particular uh, no, terminology? How we are going to assign multiple values into the multiple variables? How we are going to assign single value into the right. multiple variables? Right, right. Okay. Okay, because. Uh, in uh, whenever we are going to make a application sometimes we have to pass the same value to the different different variables right so right. that time yeah that time these concept we are going to use okay always mm -hmm. now again come to your uh, that uh, notes and uh, notepad plus plus okay
Mm-hmm. So, uh, do you know what is tokens? Token means in any programming. Token means there are you know basically in each and every uh, programming language there are four types of tokens. Okay, mm-hmm. like keyword, reserve keyword. I'm talking about keyword. Mm-hmm. Identifier means what variable, literals and operator. Mm-hmm. like mathematical operator and boolean operator all this stuff okay mm-hmm. so write down there are there are four types of tokens available in python yes yeah first one is keywords let me type you yeah i got it okay keywords second one is identifiers that is what variables Okay. Third one is identifiers. Oh, uh, identifiers are variable same. Okay. Uh, third one is literals and operator. Literals and operator. Mm-hmm. Okay, so literals and fourth one is operator. Literals and fourth one is operator. You are mentioning third one. Operator means there are mathematical operator, boolean operator, true and false. All these are mm-hmm. okay. These all are max in almost all the you know programming language. It is constant operator keyword. Okay, very well. Okay, mm-hmm. but types are different. Now we are going to discuss about the data types in Python. Mm-hmm. So what do you mean by data types? In any I programming think... language. Data means uh, different type of data like uh, digit numbers, special characters, maybe. Yeah, they, uh, exactly. Just a second. I'm... Yeah. Yeah. So data types. What do you mean by data types? Any different type of values that uh, we can store in the variables. Yes. So basically, data types is a what? A stories. Correct. Right. Where we are going to store some data values. Any yeah data or any kind of values. Okay. So basically Python provides, you know, five types of data types. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, first one is numbers. Okay. Second one is a string. Third okay. one is list. Select type or you are getting? Yeah, I got it. Okay, great. Fourth one is tuple. A string only. Not as and fifth one is mm-hmm. okay. I just pasted the tuple spelling. Okay, and fifth one is dictionary. Uh, which one? Dictionary. Uh-huh. 
okay okay so these are the five types of standard data types i know provided by the python mm -hmm. okay so now we are going to discuss about the first that is number data types okay right so basically whenever we are going to talk about the number num numbers means what numbers store some numeric value mm -hmm. correct okay right. so you know python creates number object when a number is assigned to that particular you know variable mm -hmm. whenever we are going to okay so please uh, write down one liner in numbers numbers store or uh, stores numeric value or it stores numeric value please write in separate numbers in them because we are going to discuss in numbers there are so many types of you know data types like int long float all this is you know, stuff we are going to discuss so mm -hmm. please uh, take a different heading for numbers okay okay so basically number python supports four types of numeric data write down for numbers it is stored number and python supports or it supports four types of numeric data okay, okay? Mm -hmm. first one is integer it supports four types of let me type here integer okay in the bracket it start with int okay whenever uh -huh. we are going to declare anything and to the program int a okay right int a i've already mentioned I int put a. In, so it means, it's the same like in c yeah c or java also right okay, okay. And is, now second is long one more thing like uh, uh, just in integer you can uh, integer means what it's a whole number two three five mm -hmm. six seven eight nine ten okay it's it is not you know any kind of decimal value and all okay right, we are going right. to declare a decimal value in float now second one is long so long mm -hmm. why mm -hmm. we are going to use the long integers i think there is some limitation like uh, one byte maybe it takes value of uh, uh, maybe uh some 32,000 yes your, correct, correct. you want to use some due to the shortage value. of a space yes of particular type of you know integer or um, integer mm -hmm. or you know numbers data types mm -hmm. so whenever when we are going to use long long is used for the higher range of value right long is used for higher range of value right mention the same uh, line in long used for higher just one line and so that you will be you know time of used for higher range of value like suppose uh, you know nine 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 is something like that if we are going to assign this kind of a value right. and going to print after that we are going to discuss third one is float so why float is used float is always used for decimal value like 1.9 2.3 correct right okay so float is used to store floating value 1.2 comma 2.9 3.5 etc right okay now fourth one is complex What do you mean by complex? Do you have any idea? I think so. Maybe if you want to restore, if you want to store some scientific values like uh, exponent and this kind of stuff, right? Two point one three j. Yeah, exponential value also. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Like two point one three j, 
sometimes you know uh, suppose uh, 2.0 anything 1.0 or 2.0 and plus uh, let me uh, you know uh, paste you that value okay 2.3 j or something these kind of value so whenever you are going to uh, yeah it's correct 2.0 plus 2.3 j or 2.2 j what anyway that so these perfect. kind of whenever whenever we are going to declare these kind of you know value we have to use complex okay but complex variable rarely it was whenever we are going to create you know medical applications like you know uh kind of some whenever you know that uh, whenever some person have the cancer we are giving the laser treatment right correct? right okay uh, so in that moment we are going to use the when uh, that kind of program we are going to develop then we are going to mostly we are going to use this complex integer type okay okay so this is clear what are the right, number right 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 what is numbers okay great now we have to move with the string okay okay so before moving to the string can we make at least one or two program in numbers so that it will be you now you will be clear that how to use these integers float right okay okay please create one more program Okay, data types or something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Int a equals to ten. Float b equals to two point seven. Anything float value. Okay. After that, there's one more long, right? Right. Long equals to long C. It will be C. A B C. We are using A B C only, right? So C equals to suppose 999K. Any value? Okay. Multi. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Anything you can write. Or bigger number also. Mm -hmm. Complex, yes, complex. D A B C D. Let it be in sequence. Equals to two point three J something. It will be right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now print all this uh, wait wait before that just try to uh, uh, create one error in place of float remove uh, put integer in the second line int now try to print a b c d you will get definitely will get error a b c d also you have a four variable, right? Right. Okay. You will get definitely you will get error and try to observe that error. Uh -huh. What is this? That is uh, integer value a is equal to ten invalid invalid syntax why i need some space or no give try it then i will tell you This is some syntax is missing. 
it, it was already given you some you know whenever you are going to see a int a int equals to 10 mm -hmm. it is giving you some okay pop up so how so to declare means... that one like this one give the space okay you are using virtual okay no 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 why semicolon so how can whenever I... you are right whenever you are going to write let me pay uh -huh. you that whenever you are going to write int you are getting some notification or not int after int remove you are getting some error right click that error uh -huh. red icon Okay. So it is saying uh, integer a equal to 10. Yes. Correct. Right, right. Okay. Oh, no. Run it. Yeah, there is already error is there. Still error is there. Yes, again it. Uh, so it means what? A equals to A int. Okay, so here Python is inbuilt. Whenever you are going to declare A equals to 10, it means it is taking integer value. No need uh -huh. to write integer. Okay. Okay. Like in the previously you have written one program, right? A equals to 10, B equals okay. to 20. So it is that uh, because Python have, you know, in built library. Uh -huh. Okay. So that's the reason it is saying just remove int. And okay. comment a uh, comment one, two, three lines, second, third and fourth line. Use the comment. Has each line you can put has okay. Okay, now print now run. What happened? Have you pissed? Give the space. Why A, B, C, uh, print B, C, D? You just uh, comment all the line. You are not printing B, C, D, right? You have not declared any variable. Comment all B, C, D. Please control as save then only. Maybe it is not saving. Control as. Yes. Okay. Equals to 10. Yeah, that is already. Then why? Just now you have already print A equals to 10, B equals to 20, and C equals to you have printed, right? But maybe there is still one error is there. Can you create a new program here? Because your uh, if you will control s if you will do, then mm -hmm. then this problem should not come. As I already did. Okay, create the new program then. D equals to ten. Print a. bracket please run okay it is giving thanks for watching 
to watch our complete session enroll for our premium membership click on to the join button and enroll yourself with the best suited option please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest want to study further subscribe to our paid membership to get a deep dive into each and every topic do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to our devops school channel and hit the bell icon to learn more keep learning